I'm not spending that money. <laughs> You're right. You shouldn't be spending that money. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Hey, thanks for being here. Andrew here, Top Fitness Strategies. I am the face who runs the place. And this is all about the fitness over 50. Feel better, look better, gain some confidence. That's what we're all about. You're here for the first time. You know what to do. Whatever platform you're watching and or listening to this, I do appreciate it. Do your stuff. Subscribe, like, share, do all that good stuff. Would really help me out with the algorithms and all the good stuff. Okay? Thanks a lot. Here for the first time also, check out over here, Inside Out Top to Bottom Fitness Program. It is a... Uh, a book I wrote is basically all about a fitness program. Very, very, very simple to, to do. It's a three-week program. You can do it at home. You can do it at the gym. No matter what kind of fitness level you are in right this second, this can only increase it. Okay? Very very basic stuff. Very simple to follow format. Check it out. Inside Out Top to Fitness. Top to Bottom Fitness Program. There you go. All right. Today, we're all about spending money. That's right. We're all about spending money. Good, bad, and different. Regardless, you're going to spend it anyway. You're going to spend the money. You're going to spend money on your health. You're going to spend money on your fitness. Whether you are healthy and in shape or not healthy and out of shape, regardless, you're going to spend the money. So which is it better to do and how would it benefit your life? Think about this. Let's say you don't go to a gym. You don't sign up. You haven't become a gym member anywhere. We're going to talk about the gym and we're going to talk about nutrition as well here, okay? You're not a member of a gym, so what good is that for you? That is good because you're not spending the monthly fee. Most most gyms have some sort of monthly fee to join them. Anywhere from $10 a month. Yes, there's some gyms out there $10 a month, which are fantastic, all the way to a couple hundred dollars a month. And yes, there are gyms out there for a couple hundred dollars a month. Are there good, bad benefits and, and non-benefits for each one? Absolutely. You have to weigh your options out on that one. But uh, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, if you choose not to be a part of a gym, that's fine. Want to work out at home? That's fine as well. You do have to invest in some sort of equipment. Not a whole lot. I've talked about that in other videos and other, other podcasts as well. The equipment that I have in my, uh, currently at my, at my home gym. Very minimalistic, and it, it will get the job done for you. No problem there. If you don't want to convert your uh, room, your house, or your garage, you have a shed, or you just don't have enough room, then go to a gym. That's fine as well. For crying out loud, let's say you spend 50 bucks a month on a gym. You go to it three to five times a week. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, around my area, 50 bucks a month is a lot to spend for a gym. You don't have to spend that much in the gym in my area. Other areas, yeah, great. If you utilize it, go for it. Absolutely go for it, all right? What are the alternatives for not going to a gym? You know, first of all, you, you, you're probably not going to work out if you don't go to a gym or have a gym at your house. You're probably not going to work out at all. So that means your body is not developing like it should, in my opinion, in my opinion. If you're not able to work out for uh, because of some sort of uh, physical ability or or you just, just physically not able to, whole different story there. Okay, I'm talking about the 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 average person who is able to do something to change their body. All right, so you're saving the fifty bucks a month. Once again, so they're doing fifty bucks. We're going to do that. In the meantime, you're going to take that fifty bucks, and what are you going to do with it? You're going to go out and, and, and buy junk food. You're going to go out and, and spend that uh, three, four, five, ten dollars a day on on uh, on 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 coffee, which at, at a coffee shop, which I'm not going to name any. Andrew, don't talk to me about my coffee. I need my coffee. Great, fantastic. If you need your coffee, fantastic. But don't tell me uh, um, you can't afford a fifty bucks if you're drinking coffee from a coffee shop every day. Okay, guys, just not going to cut it with me. And I'm not talking about whether you can afford it or not afford it. I'm just throwing that out there. And so I can take away that excuse right away. The thing is desire. Okay. Do you want to be healthier? All right. If you say no, if you say you're, you're fine and healthy, that's great. Let me ask you this. What kind of medication do you take? Maybe you don't take any medication. Fantastic. And if you do, why are you taking that medication? I am not a doctor. I'm not going to ever tell you to get on or off of any kind of medication. So that's not what this is about. 
All I'm saying is you can do stuff maybe pre preventative. If, that, if that's the if that's if that's the the the, the right word here, I'm, I'm searching for. How many stories have you heard for for people who have let's just say high blood pressure, and I'm just throwing that out there. It could be any number of things that have high blood pressure. The doctor says, you know what? If you drop 30, 40 pounds, you're going to be in a much better position. They drop the 30, 40 pounds, and guess what? Their blood pressure changes, and they don't have to take that medication anymore. I'm not saying that you please consult your doctor for any type of changes you have to do. I am not a doctor. I am not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just telling you there are possibilities. If other people have done it, so can you. <laughs> you can do it. So is it costing you more than the 50 bucks to get a gym membership than it is for your medication? That's something to think about. If you have to go to the doctor every couple of months because you have some sort of illness going on, that cut might have been prevented. And once again, I'm not a doctor. I keep wanting to say that I am not a doctor. Do not listen to me for medical advice at all. Keep that in mind. I'm just saying if you put your body in a better position, a more healthy position, is that going to increase or decrease your trips to the doctor's office? Think about it. And if it does decrease your visits to a doctor's office, that means it's less spending for you to go to a doctor's office, right? Okay, keep that in mind too. So now all of a sudden, you're not spending as much going to a doctor's office because you're working out and making yourself healthier, okay? Food you eat. Also, yeah, is it cheaper to go through a drive-thru at your, at, your, at your local fast food? Probably. Is it cheaper to get a, a 5 or $10 pizza, fast food pizza? Probably. Is it healthier? No. You know, so you're going to make up for it one way or the other. So, yeah, and, and I'm a pizza lover. I love pizza, love pasta, love, love, love the stuff. I do not do fast food. I'll tell you that right now. As of this recording, the time of this recording, and I'm proud to say this, I have not eaten any fast food since December 31st. You're going to laugh at this. December 31st, 2008. Six was my last time going to or eating at a fast food. I used to say I don't even go to fast food restaurants, but I can't say that anymore because I I have taken a couple of business meetings inside a fast food restaurant, and the only thing I've gotten there was black coffee. That's it. I did not eat there. I just drank back black coffee. I don't think it's right for me to go um, conduct business in an establishment and not and 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 not purchase anything from that establishment. I mean, that's just my reasoning behind that. But I did not get any food other than black coffee. That's it. Okay. So is it the finances that keep you from getting healthy? Is it the desire? I don't, I don't know what it is from keeping you from being healthier. But do not let finances come in the way because you're going to be paying for it one way or the other. I would prefer, much prefer to be healthy and pay for the healthy aspects than being unhealthy and pay for the unhealthy aspects. Now let you make of that what you will, how you want to, but keep that in mind. There's all kinds of ways. If, if you're, if you're saying that you can't afford different things, great. There's all kinds of ways where we can show you how to not spend as much on your health and fitness, all kinds of ways to do that. If you so choose to. So all I'm saying is do not let, spending money be the reason why you're not fit and healthy. All right. Cause there's all kinds of ways we can get around that and we can talk more in depth with it. That's why I just wanted to put that out there. Wanted to say that, throw that out there for everyone that's watching right now. Okay. Appreciate you being here. Once again, no matter what platform you're watching and or listening to this on, I do appreciate it. Check it out. Forward this, share this, like it, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Also, check out the Inside Out Top to Bottom Fitness Program. I'm linking to it in the show notes, all that good stuff. I'll stop it here. Again, my name is Andrew. Top fitness strategies, feel better, look better, gain some confidence. Fit, fitness over 50, okay? And, yes, I am the face who runs the place, and I'll stop it here. Thanks for being here. So until next time, this is Andrew. Ciao.